Hi everyone, I am Rishabh and in this video I will be telling you about how you can use GitHub Copilot effectively while you are coding, right? Now for those who are beginners, like just started your coding journey, close this video, don't watch GitHub Copilot because it will destroy your coding journey, right? At the beginning, you are, if you are a beginner, don't see this video, close this right, just right now and leave it right now th those who know coding those who are familiar with these things and those who are doing it for a long time for them github copilot is a good thing like you can use it like when you are coding because if you are a beginner then your basics will not be clear you will do these things and you will ultimately know nothing right so those who know about these things and you can use in your uh, coding projects and all these things uh, to make it a little bit faster Right, so let us just see how we can use our GitHub Copilot, right? So first thing, uh, open any of your VS code, uh, any of the coding means any of the file. Like I have opened a Java uh, class, right? So I am writing in Java, you can do it anything like JavaScript or anything, right? There is no problem with this thing at all, right? So the first thing uh, to use this extension, uh, you can uh, search here in the github extension so you can simply search here co you can simply search here github copilot the first one and you can see my one is installed so simply click on install and after that and after you installing this one you have to wait for a waiting list right if you have don't it means uh, all of you don't have this access so you have to join in waiting list for some time and you will get ultimately these things so let me uh, show you how you can use github copilot how easily so you can see in my screen currently it is uh, showing my, like i have written the class it is showing the main function right so and uh, to use github copilot you can see like it is coming uh, the text is coming in light version but it is not written yet right so use this code simply click on tab and this code will come in front of you and once you go to next line give the second brace so our main function is written so you can use this thing like writing short things and all the things now let us say that i would take five names uh, in an array right so i have to write the whole thing but using github copilot if i give here a comment uh, name of uh, let me give um, array array of five you can see it is coming in names right so if i click on tab it will come and if i go to the next line you will see that it is showing the string names array with all five names right so that's the power of github copilot are you getting it right it is a crazy thing it is a huge thing you can use effectively these things so if i click on tab it will take the whole thing now an array is being declared names with all these things so now it is coming names and all the things right so that is the effective way how you can use the github copilot now let's say a different thing uh, let me take a list of here you can see list uh, list of names so if i click on tab and if i come into the next line you will see if i come into the next line it will you will see that it is coming a uh, list of string and array list is it is creating right so if i click on tab it will come means it will take the whole thing Right, so that is GitHub Copilot. Now let us just uh, take a function uh, of reverse. Mm, uh, if I want to reverse a number, let us see that uh, whether GitHub Copilot is doing anything or not. So you can see that it is uh, passing one, two, three in the function, right? So let's click on tab. And now if I want to make this function, so I will write public static void main right public static void and uh, then the reverse number this one right and once i give and you can see when i have written this thing it is showing me the whole function itself i am not writing it but it is showing the whole function for me to reverse a number right and if i click on tab it is taking the whole thing so it function also it is passing a number and this thing right so let us just run and let's so let's just uh, run this one and let's just see that it is, it is working or not so if i run this one you will see that it has reversed this one two three two three two one right so it is the function is working perfectly mm, let's uh, test with other functions 
like if i want to create a sum so if i create a sum so you can see that it is uh, showing five numbers to do the sum if i click on tab it is taking the whole thing and now if i want to write the function of the sum so let me copy this thing and if i give sum here with a bracket and you are going to see that it is taking the whole function to create a sum right so if i click on tab it is doing the whole function for me without doing anything right so if i run this again so you will see that it is doing the sum of 1 to 5 that is 15 right so it is doing correctly all the things so that is the power of our github copilot you can use this effectively like doing html css web development android development and in many more things right like doing competitive coding also like to perform simple simple tasks you can use this github copilot it's a really great thing now if you're a beginner again i am telling don't use these things use your basic concept because you are a beginner don't use this thing right now you can use it in the later to make your task a little bit easier so now let's just perform another task such as like if i want to do multiply so i'm writing here multiply and you can see that it is taking again five numbers so if i click on tab it is taking the whole thing now again if i do this public static void and then multiply this one and if i give the braces you will see that it is giving again the whole code for the function of multiply if i click on tab you will see that whole thing is coming right and if i run this again you will see that it is doing the multiplication also correctly right so that's the power of using github copilot it will change like this is at the beginning phase in the testing phase github copilot but later when this thing will be large like say after one to two years this thing is going to be really huge for many of the coders and many of you might think like there is a controversy that whether github copilot will take the jobs of software engineers whether this thing will be taken so i'm not going to go in that controversy but one thing that i can say is see see no one job is going to get down because of this github copilot because for making this github copilot also we are needing software engineers right so your job is secured and safe don't worry about that thing do coding practice daily and you will achieve a great job at software engineering so that's all for today's video like i have shown you how you can use github copilot for basic things of small tasks like in programming so i will meet you in my next video with other crazy things so subscribe my channel if you are seeing this video if you have liked this video share it with your friends and hit the like button and one more thing after subscribing my channel hit the bell notification so that whenever i will post my new video you will get the notification at the first right so that's all for today's video and i will meet you in my next video till then bye bye have a great day